So uh, as I just said that in, uh, when we talk about very basics of OpenCV, we can say that it is an open source computer vision library. The advantage of OpenCV or open source library is that it is available freely. You can add your own codes. There is no like uh, charges for using this library. There is no licensing. You can just download this one from internet and use it in your applications and it performs outstanding applications. Officially, it was launched in 1999 at Intel Research Lab. It is available for C, C++, Python, MATLAB, Java, and many other languages. So its wrappers are available easily. And if you have very good in any programming language, you can use that one. Uh, one important example where I have been working also for a lot of time, uh, its different wrappers are available for .NET also, maybe with other names, but uh, like uh, its wrappers are available. So it is free for both academic and commercial use. Lot of lot of work in academia and commercial level is being done using this OpenCV library. Finally, it, the very, very big advantage for this library is it is cross-platform. So it can be used in Windows, Linux machines, Apple Macintosh systems, iOS, Android, mobile-based devices, and so on. So this is the huge advantage that it can be used on any simple desktop machines, laptop machine, mobile devices, iOS devices, and so on. So if you want to get further details of OpenCV, uh, we should be very, very fair that the OpenCV.org file, which is like the main file, which is uh, like controlled by OpenCV originators, you can see details from there also. So now what is the interest from our site? We are not here to give uh, like uh, describe benefits of OpenCV alone. Our uh, uh, wish is to help you people in making quick application using OpenCV. And for that purpose, we have choose the Python programming language. Why? Because this is the most advanced Python uh, programming language these days, which has uh, like getting more and more involvement from academia and commercial uh, purposes. So for this purposes, let's start what we will be doing in this course. So we will be starting from installation of required libraries. So for the first thing is that you should be familiar with the Python. If you are not familiar, it doesn't make any huge difference because Python is a very simple language and using OpenCV within Python, we will try that you understand all the steps. We will be showing you working codes. We'll be providing you the uh, the codes which we will be implementing or which we will be showing on uh, you in videos we will be uh, like providing those codes to you so that you can download those codes uh, first play those codes and then change those codes and then see the results yourself we will be providing you images also you can make your own images plug and play our code and run those uh, images and see what is what are the end results okay so what we will be needing is that we will be needing these sort of different libraries or commands. So what are these libraries and what are these commands? Let's start this one. So on the left hand side, these are the libraries which we will be requiring for this course. Most of these uh, to cover most of this course. And these are the commands in open C in Python basically to install these libraries. So first one is install OpenCV Python. So as the name depicts, it will help out in installing OpenCV on the Python environment. For example, if you have already have uh, maybe PyCharm or Anaconda or whatever Python ID, you can just write this um, uh, command which is written on the right hand side. Let me explain this one first, but uh, uh, later on, but still you can, you have to install this OpenCV package on the Python machine. Similarly, you need this matplot library, matplotlib, which is for visualization purposes to uh, like draw charts, graphs, these sort of things. We have this scikit image library. This is for machine learning applications because uh, most of the time we will be working on these machine learning libraries. So you need this scikit image package so that you can work with machine learning and uh, image libraries at the same time. Then you have this numpy. Numpy, you already know that this package is needed when you want to work on arrays and image itself is combination of rows and columns which are arrays or you can say that this is a table type structure so numpy is needed when you want to work within the arrays 
and finally you need pandas pandas is basically a library which is used for performance of calculation so when because in image we have to apply different filters mask and uh, then there would be transformations so this pandas library is needed so installation of these packages one by one so in python it's very simple you have to write this command uh, python installation pip install opencv python pip install matplotlib pip install scikit image pip install numpy and pip install pandas so whenever you are writing a code in a pycharm or whatever uh, id you are using you have to write some of these commands for example if you are just reading an image and displaying that image you just need pip install opencv python and other commands are not needed but if you want to work with some numbers or maybe you want to apply some transformation so then that case you have to install pip install numpy and pip install pandas also Thank <laughs> you.